Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will try to see how we can configure the dependency providers. So now I will try to show you. So now here we have seen about the dependency provider, right? How we can inject the dependency from the provider like services thing, how we have seen it. Like in the widget.component.ts, we can able to uh, inject it using the, using the providers or otherwise in the constructor, you can do it. So not only the classes, we can also inject the values such as boolean string date and objects as dependencies also. So Angular provides the necessary APIs to make the dependency configuration flexible. So you can make use of those values available in the DI. So the first one is nothing but what I want to tell is so they so uh, we will be having something like uh, three types or something like we will be having use class. So I will try to show you. So here let's say that uh, whether we are having any service or not. So we don't have any service I think. Let's try to create some service something like uh, uh, ng gc or otherwise I will try to I will try to create it here only. In the services section I will create a file that is nothing but logger service. Okay. So logger dot service dot ts file. So this is our logger service. So now, so here in order to make this one, so export class, let's try, I will try to make this one font size also a little bit bigger so that you people able to see it very clearly in the mobile also. Fine. So export class logger service, I will be having this logger service and here in this constructor, uh, not a constructor, let's try to say that uh, log message, okay, message of type string and here I will try to do console.log logger service and here I can do the message that's it so now this is our logger service and here I can do an injectable that is nothing but so that in this one we can inject the things and here I will try to do it as provide in of type root so this one we have seen it now fine now in the widget component so here if I want to do it means so here I can use this one as providers and here I will try to do it as logger service fine and here if you want to use this one means so here in the constructor in the constructor so here I will be having private logger as logger service and if you want to call it this dot logger dot log of so some message I will try to send it now if you try to refresh this page so here we will be able to see logger service hi Leela. so that means the logger service is getting executed so we have an this one is something like an shorthand notation okay so we also have an expanded provider service so expanded notation configuration also will be having so this one will be in such a way that so here i will be trying to do it as in provide provide logger service and here we will be using that which class we need to use it as in logger service that's it so this is also one and the same one if you try to see the same output we will be able to see it but here we have just used the logger service so that the provide and the use class are one and the same only so here the provide property holds the token so here this one will holds the token that serves as the key for consuming the dependency value so that is the main thing and here another one which i want to tell is the second property is a provider definition object which tells the injector how to create the dependency value the provider dependency can be any of this one so you will be having four types that is nothing but use class use existing use factory and the last one is the use value so in this video we will try to learn about this use class so what is this use class so this use class understanding this use class means in angular dependency injection use class is a provider configuration option that allows you to replace one dependency with another at runtime essentially it acts as a substitute creating a new instance of the specified class whenever the original dependency is requested so for example let's say that here we are having this logger service and we are using this logger service right let's say i am having another service okay in the same services itself i will be having a console logger service okay console logger dot service dot ts okay i will be having another console logger and the same code so just like the logger search service only you will be having the same thing but here this time this one will be having is console.logger console logger so here this one is console logger okay so this is our another one so now 
here in the widget or component is this depending on the situation so if anybody access this logger service i want to use the console logger service so here you can change this one console logger service that's it now if you try to refresh this page so now here the method it is executing is the console logger service so that means whenever you are having an environment means so depending on the environment so if you are having is production or uh, mm, production so we will be having this environment right environment dot production like that so we can inject that production here depending on the uh, production mode so you can use this one console dot logger dot service so i don't want to do this one so now here in the real time how we will be using this one is for example let's say that so we are having uh, two types of services that is nothing but uh, here i will be changing this one file logger okay so i am having two types of logger file logger and also a console logger so here this one is a file logger this one is a file logger and this one is file logger okay and let's go to the widget component and this one is file logger okay now here this logger service doesn't have so now both the things uh, represent the same thing only but one thing will log it in the console and another another one will try to log it in the file so here for this one what i will try to i will try to create a uh, logger.es interface so export interface logger so your wish so however you want to use it you can use it or otherwise uh, let's try to remove this interface we'll try to create it afterwards so now what i want to do it is so here we are having this one right so whatever the service you want you can do it so here i can say that let's say that console logger service okay and you can use this console logger service and if you try to refresh this page so you will be able to see the output console logger and if i want to use this one as file logger means i can directly use this uh, file logger okay so this console logger service i need to use it here directly it will work now if you try to see here this is not a console but it will try to log it from the file logger but here this one notation is looking somewhat odd right so in this in each situation what you can do it is you can create an interface export interface logger and you can have a method okay implementation so which is of type void and i can keep it like this sorry okay so this is the interface and both the one implements the logger okay it should be imported and here also it will implements the logger sorry not location logger okay so now here this one is fine let's go to the widget and here i will try to locate the logger okay and this logger we will not get it why because we need to create an injection token so why because so here the provide should be a token in it token you should have that should be either a concrete class or a token you need have so let's try to create an unique token so that is nothing but um, constant logger underscore token is equal to new injection token i will try to create it from injection token of logger i can import this logger and i can use the logger that's it now this logger underscore token i can use it here so fine and now here instead of injecting this one so what i need to do it is so here i need to do at the rate inject at the rate inject of the logger okay we need to inject the logger sorry logger underscore token sorry logger underscore token so now this logger console dot log service okay so this should be something like logger here i need to use the logger now directly i can use the logger now here the logger depends on the logger token which you are trying to send it either it is a file logger service or a console logger service if you try to see here this time we are able to get file logger and if i try to change this one as in console logger now if you try to see here the loading symbol then it is coming from the console logger so this is how you will be the use class dependency injection will be working so if you want to alias this one means so you can do it whatever the alias you want to do it you can use it hope you understood about this concept so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you